Okay, so welcome back. So last time we were dying horrible, horrible deaths when we went to an area that I don't think we were supposed to be in quite yet. So let's go and hand in... Well, I guess we have to go talk to the horrible guy first over here. We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. From the look on your face, it seems like you finished the job. Yep, and we did a fine job too. Although we did have a few hang-ups. We thought we'd report to you as a matter of good measure. It's reported. So it was burned out, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry kids, you were put in harm's way because of me. There's no need to apologize. It comes with the territory. Uh, dealing with dangerous jobs is part of a bracer's work. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? Two MP2 quartz. This is a quartz? Yep, it's an MP2 quartz. It can prevent an enemy's arts. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks. We appreciate it. No, thank you to the both of you today. If you need to discuss anything about ornaments, then stop by anytime. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. Orgman replacement completed. And actually, we want to open a slot on... Is it Estelle? Oh, we don't have enough water, uh, Sepith, to open... Huh. And I guess this is the same. Yeah, we need two more water Sepith. I thought we had enough, but we don't. Um... So, I guess that's fine. I actually probably afford to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, just for some money. Okay. That way we can buy some gear for them, because they're kind of hurting for gear. Alright, and then the other guy we needed to talk to was at the spaceport. Spaceport, the ship rolling, the landing port. There we go. And he's right here. What's that? You say you found the mushroom? Yep, we found it, alright. Oh, wonderful. But it might be different than the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Uh, well, it's like this. So, even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvid? What, what, how was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, the bracer's job is to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice, so we could have at least been prepared. Never mind us. The big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use the mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up, you had some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan. Er, what? Isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. Uh, what? Cooking? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? Th that, uh, this is why it is such a pain to deal with country pumpkins. In the hands of a skilled chef, the more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the firefly fungus is the king of them all. This is no doubt the ultimate ingredient. Uh, so pretty much what you're saying is that it's for people with bizarre eating habits? Hmm. That's the talk of one unacquainted with a true delicacy. But then again, commoners such as yourselves would never have an opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be to heaven for that. I never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed, it looks pretty nasty. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now, if you don't mind, I'd ask you hand over the mushroom and leave. Yeah, please take it. So we hand it over. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And as promised, I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. Nobody's going to buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Uh, please excuse us, we will be going now. Yes, please do. Alright, so that's complete. Let's go and report all of these to the guild. I think we have like four or five we need to report. There's only one we can complete at the moment because... The monsters were a little bit out of our league for... I don't know if... I think it's mostly a gear thing. Um, so we completed Mushroom Hunt, so we got 3vp and some Mira. Orbit Replacement got some Mira. Oh no, we didn't get any Mira, but we got a VP. Wait, I'm not sure how the Mira works. 
No, so that is our payment. I don't know what the stuff in plus in the brackets is for. Good work! It seems like you've completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come back and report again. Yeah. So, we just have this one that we can't do at the moment because it's a little hard for us. Um, so, we'll move on to... Mayor Claus, who... We need to go speak directly to the mayor. And the mayor... is over here. Oh, so we have like full rotational control. I thought basically if I tap the triggers it does it in certain increments, but I can actually turn it to whatever I want with the analog stick, which I haven't been doing. Right then. Anyways, let's go in here, find the mayor. Do you think the mayor is even in today? Being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's a pretty good chance that he's out. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. Hi, Mayor Klaus. I hope we're not disturbing you, sir, but we've come on behalf of the Bracer Guild about the job you requested. Yes, I heard from the Guild that the two of you would be coming. So you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? Well, we're trying to, at least. I'm very sorry about my dad reneg... Reneging? Reneging? Reneging on his promise like that. There's no need for apologies. Knowing your father, it's typical for him to be swamped with work like this. Anyway, with Lita and my wife out and about, I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? In truth, I don't think you'll find this request particularly difficult. And it's for that reason I think that asking the guild to do this job may have been a bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work, and I have to break down and ask the guild for help. We were informed that this job involves the transport of a certain something, but what is it exactly that you would like us to carry and wear? I would like you to pick up a septium crystal from the Malga Mine and deliver it here. When you say septium, do you mean like sepith that we often come across? Actually, accurately speaking, sepith is fragmented septium, which is too small to be used as precious stones. Therefore, the sepith is refined and processed into quartz, which can be installed into orbits. So that's the difference, huh? I think I've got a better grasp on things now. We've actually been able to obtain a certain kind of septium called Asmelas from the Malga Mine since the olden days. However, since a large piece of this crystal was recently discovered, I asked the Mine Chief to hold on to it until someone could pick it up. So you'd like us to pick up this crystal from the Mine Chief and bring it here, is that correct? Precisely. What do you think? Is this something that you think you can handle? The transport of a precious gem, huh? It'll be a nice change from fighting monsters. Should keep us on our toes, too. Alright, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Please take this with you. If you show that to one of the workers, they should let you into the mine. Good luck. Alright, so it looks like we know where we're going. Uh, clearly not inside the house we know where we're going, but we know where we're going outside of the house. Alright, here we go. So we gotta go to the Malga Mine, which I think is off to that path here to the... I always hate that my camera gets turned around. Okay, that's right. There we go. Now we're oriented north. And I think it's over here that we need to go. The Malga Trail should lead to the Malga Mine, right? Yes. I wonder when we'll get more party members. We are still in the prologue, so... And I've never gotten... This is farther than I've ever gotten in the game, so... I think I've started it up twice on two events and never got uh, past the... Or slightly past the part where the airship leaves with your father, so... Oh damn, I didn't even see that guy over there. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we didn't even buy new gear! Ooh! <laughs> Completely forgot about that. But I'm not going back to it now. We'll just work without it, I guess. We have enough money to buy gear, though, which is... <laughs> Whatever. That's that, then. Let's move out. One experience point. 
I wonder if experience is relative to your level. Like, the higher level you are, the less experience you get from monsters, basically negating the benefit of grinding. There's a few games that do that. Well, the only one I can think of that comes to mind is Lost Odyssey. So we're here at the Malga Mine. We gotta show the referral to our friend over here. This is the entrance to the Malga Mine. If you're not here on business, then I'll have to ask you to leave. Believe it or not, we're here on business. Roland's Mayor Klaus has asked us that we come here and pick up a certain Septium Crystal. Well, alright then, if you've got a referral from the mayor, then that's a different story. I don't mean to make your job any more difficult, but would you mind going inside and speaking directly with the boss? I'm supposed to stand watch out here. Sure, that's fine, but why the boss? We're actually here to see the mine chief. That mine chief you're talking about is actually our boss, Mr. Gatton. He manages the mine and all of its workers. He's the kind of guy who enjoys discovering a septium load more than eating three meals a day. I'm barely sure he's working down in the lower tunnels today. Thanks for the tip, we'll go see if we can locate him. Okay. I'm assuming there's monsters in here as well. Mm. There's no map, so maybe there isn't monsters. I don't even know what that does. So I guess we have to do something with this cart. Alright, let's jump in. Check it out, it's a minecart. Do you think it's powered by Orbments too? Looks that way to me. How about we get in and see where it takes us? Right. Hello, friend. Great, adios. What did you kid? What are you kids doing down here? Are you friends with someone who works here in the mine? Not exactly. We've come to see the mine chief at the request of the mayor. Oh, so you're here about the crystal, are you? Well, if you're looking for the boss, he should be in the tunnels below. If you use the elevator at the end of the tracks on the opposite side of the mine, you can get down there. The end of the tracks on the opposite side of the mine. When you were riding the minecart, you noticed a place along the way where the track diverges, right? If you follow the other line, you'll reach the elevator. In order to get there, you'll have to go back to where you came from and flip the lever on this to activate the track switch. So why the heck is this pointless area even here? <laughs> How did she- oh, I think it's because uh, Joshua died, so now she's like leading the party. Mm. Yeah, I can fix that up real quick. Uh, tactics, character position is fine. No. There we go. Set S breaks. They only have those, okay. Sounds fine. Alright, let's take the elevator. This is the elevator we're supposed to use to reach the lower tunnels, right? Why doesn't it work? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, there is orbital energy running through it, but it appears to be mechanically locked. Maybe we should go back and ask the miner about it. <sighs> really? Really, game? Well, that explains why there's the branching path now, because we have to go back and forth a million times. Hello, miner friend. What's that, you say? The elevator wouldn't work? Uh, I see what the problem is. You need the key to activate it. But since you don't have one of your own, I'll help you out by lending you mine. Are you... <laughs> Much appreciated. Once our business here is finished, we'll make sure to return it. Really? He, t he told me to take the elevator, and then he just forgot that you need a key? Really? Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh... Now the elevator should work. A 
Still, I'll try using the key we just borrowed. We should be able to get the elevator working this time. It looks like we can use the elevator now. How about we head down into the lower tunnels? Okay. There's no enemies that I've come across. Hello, miner friend. Eek, you scared me there for a second. So you're looking for the mine chief, are you? I'm sure somewhere across the bridge. Oh, you need a key to go on the bridge, and then... Oh, never mind. Why is there a Healy thingy here? Interesting. We'll use it because... She's not at full health. Um, two minor friends. The reason we've been able to work like this is due to the grace of the goddess herself. We'd best remember to give thanks. Yeah. You said you are looking for the mine chief. He was here a moment ago. Oh man, I ate a ton of food, but now I'm hungry again. Maybe I'll have to try sneaking off to town for lunch again. It looks like Trent was cutting work again. I can't believe he's still pulling the same stunts after the last earful he got from the boss. Oh, I've gone in all the incorrect directions so far. Aha! Hello, Mr. Chief. Heaven and Earth, what are you two... What are two kids like you going... What are you... Two kids like you doing down here in the mine. You're the mine chief, right? Boy, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over this dank place for you. We're with the Bracer Guild, and we've come today on behalf of Mayor Klaus. Hmm, I see, so you kids are bracers, are you? That's quite a feat for being so young. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, right? Oh, right, give me a second. This little baby is something you don't see every day, which is why I've been keeping it as close to myself as possible. Wow. I've never seen a crystal this big before. That is impressive. There seems to be a light swirling around inside, too. It's one of several types of septium. Specifically, it's an Asmela's crystal, which is endowed with the power of wind. For a gem this size, you're looking at a hefty price tag. I'm talking about a small fortune here. Make absolutely sure that this gets to the mayor. Uh, roger that. Mm, I think something's gonna go wrong. It's so beautiful. It feels like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. This is super fun. Check this out, Joshua. Uh, she's gonna drop it, isn't she? That's nice and all, but how about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, we could be in some real trouble. Fine, you big killjoy. Stop with the crystal away in her pocket. Well, I guess that's that. We'll get out of your hair now, Mr. Gaten. Gaten. But don't worry, we'll make sure this gets to the mayor. I'm counting on you kids. Huh? What's the matter? That's odd. The airflow down here suddenly shifted. The airflow? The scent, it's... Oh! Ah! Uh... Is... is it over? What was that earthquake just now? Nope, it seems that there's been a cave-in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of the miners hit a patch of loose ground. I'd better check on the extent of the damage. Look out, Estelle. What? Hello, Mr. Crab. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Um... We'll do that. Come on! Okay. You are going to dual strike him. Damn, didn't kill him. I was hoping it would. Okay, good. Didn't hit him. But now he's gonna attack him. But he didn't get the crit in, which is nice. Um, 
here, though. Let Estelle deal with this. Okay. All the way. monsters like this? No, this is the first time we've ever had anything like this happen down here. Monsters have a uh, predisposition which attracts them to the glow of septium. So we've had a lot of them wander into the mine in the past, but judging from the situation, it may be that the recent cave-in opened a hole connected to a den of monsters. Did you say a den of monsters? It's not inconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. I've got to get the other workers out of here. If that's the case, then how about letting us help you out? You're kidding, right? Monster extermination is right up our alley, and besides, every minute counts. You're right, some extra help would be much appreciated. So how many miners are we looking at? So how many miners are we looking at in all? There should only be four others working here in the lower tunnel. Got it, now let's go find them. Sorry about all this. Alright. Take these and use them if you need to. Tear bomb. Okay. So I guess what we'll do is we'll take a little break here uh, before we rescue all the other miners, and that's what we'll do next time. So thanks for watching.